Most people diagnosed with GIST are older than 50, but these tumors can occur at any age. GIST is slightly more common in men. I think the most difficult part of having cancer is not knowing when there's going to be a cure or if there will be one. You're, you're always kind of looking over your shoulder. Uh, Am I going to survive another year? Another, am I going to see another grandchild or a graduation or a wedding? I was diagnosed very young. I mean, I'm 31 now, so it was, it was five years ago. So um, I had just got married the year before. Mm -hmm. So um, it was definitely changed perspectives, <laughs> the perspective in life. Um, I just adopted my son um, five months ago. So, um, yes, something terrible happened to you and uh, to all the people here, but uh, it's amazing how um, when these things happen to you, you learn to live life, I wouldn't say only day by day, but to actually live life. And, and that's definitely something to celebrate, because not everyone gets that chance. For many, living with a rare cancer such as GIST can completely transform a patient's outlook and perspective on life. Since the diagnosis, my life has totally changed, and I believe that every cancer patient may say this. Uh, uh, sometimes I realize that I do not remember uh, the person I used to be before cancer, and uh, it means that it brought a tremendous change on various levels, whether it is on a per personal or a professional level. So obviously cancer is a dramatic thing that can happen in anyone's life. Yet, I decided uh, to uh, keep with me the positive things that I could get through cancer. So it's very difficult to make a list of <laughs> uh, what I could do because I had cancer, because uh, I think it gave me, it improved my fighting spirit. How many people does GIST affect per year in the EU and US combined? A, 10,000. B, 1 million. C, 5,000. 